Hello, here's a quick tutorial on how to use countdown timers inside of Nifty Images. So I'll select the countdown timer module here, and at the beginning we'll see examples. Um, now keep in mind that these are all the same timer, just with different fonts and colors. So I will choose a basic one to show you how it can be modified. To start, I will choose the date and time that this timer will end. In this case, it's going to count down to 2016. So I'll actually choose January 1st at 12 a.m. You can see it automatically changes the days, hours, minutes to reflect uh, my new settings and it'll continue to happen as I make changes to the font or colors. I will go and change my fonts to one I have uploaded called Timer and you can upload any true type font that you wish to use. I also have a font color I want to, I want to change it to and I have a background to help this green stand out a little bit more. Under more color options, we have the ability to change all the label colors, just the days, hours, minutes, or seconds. So if you want to modify uh, each section on their own, you can. Um, under the more section, which is the last section here, you can actually change the time zone for this timer. I can choose uh, the language for the different labels. I can choose to hide the labels if I wish. And I can also hide the days. So if you, want to count, if you want to count down just hours, that's an option. We also have an option of making this background transparent. So you can put it on top of your own background image if you want to get more creative. Lastly, you can change the separator from a colon to another character or symbol and add padding to this image. Now you can see that there's an image URL that you can use inside your email template or website to show this timer. And keep in mind that every time it's loaded, you'll see a new timer. So people seeing this three hours from now will have a different countdown to the new year. At the bottom, we also offer an expiration image. So once the timer's up, you can have a different image show. Just simply drag and drop an image to change that. An advanced option that we also offer is using these with autoresponders. Um, by doing this, you have the ability to modify the end date for this timer in the URL string. So if you're sending out triggered emails for your client's birthdays, abandoned shopping carts, or even things like trial accounts, the timer can be dynamic for each subscriber. Simply uh, put the date at the end of the URL, which your ESP should allow you to do quite easily. Thanks, and contact us at support at Nifty Images for any questions.